How's everybody doing tonight? Thanks for coming out. Appreciate it. What a great weekend we had here at Shippensburg University. First of all, it was, uh, it was, uh, 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 you know, we, we won the football game. Uh, it was parent family day, and we had a huge crowd there. I mean, it was awesome crowd. Also, uh, um, we had the Red Raider Pack, 110 or 20 uh, young people from the town, from the community, got to run out onto the field uh, after our team, because I'm afraid our team would run them over, all right? But they ran out in the field, and it, it was great uh, for that. Also, we had probably close to 80 to 90 football alumni back in town over the weekend. Uh, had a great function Friday night, and then Saturday they tailgated and, and uh, enjoyed the game. So. But probably the best part of the weekend was Ethan, all right? Uh, again, coach to Cure MD was that, was last week. All the coaches in the country, if you notice, a lot of them had patches on their sleeves. And we always, for the last two years, we've invited a family uh, to help, uh, you know, with us, or help us take uh, notice of the, of the uh, organization. And this year was Ethan. And, and what a terrific young man. He came out for the coin toss and uh, enjoyed the captains, got to meet him and everything, and he was very excited. And then after the game, they had him out there in our huddle. Uh, after our, you know, the players gather around, we talk a little bit and things like that. And uh, he was right in the center of it. But before we got to that part of it, um, right after the game, the players shake hands with the other team. And then as they were done shaking hands with East Stroudsburg, all the players went over and shook his hand. And uh, his face, you know, just a great smile. It, it was tremendous. And I never told our players to do that. Never, never ever did I tell them to do that. They just do that stuff on their own because they realize how important uh, it is to make an impact on a young man, a young a child, a, a kid. And uh, so I was very proud of them for doing that. Uh, we started slow, uh, again. Uh, and I've been on our guys all week about we got to come out of the blocks, we got to start fighting early, we got to come out fast, we got to play from the first whistle to the last whistle. Uh, we kind of started slow on Saturday again, and uh, both sides of the ball. So we got to get that fixed because, you know, again, we can't wait till the second half or right before the, the halftime to start playing football. We got to put four quarters together. The defense held. Uh, uh, East Stroudsburg scoreless in the second half. Very proud of them for doing that. You know, we, I thought our guys did a great job of shutting him down. Uh, very aggressive against the run. We brought the safety up to help with that, and uh, and our safety had 10 tackles last our last uh, uh, weekend. Zap was 19 of 27 for 279 yards and three touchdowns. That's a pretty good day, right? That's a pretty good day uh, with that one interception he did have. One thing Zap did well on Saturday is when he got out of the pocket, man, he, he threw the ball. He threw the ball and, and uh, did some nice things that way. What a crowd. We had a great weekend with football alumni, all that stuff I already uh, talked about. But it was a good weekend. And, and I tell you, I'm really proud and impressed with the crowd that we had there on Saturday. It was, it was awesome. And I'm going to tell you, there's not a lot of places in this league that pack a stadium like we do. And uh, again, I'd like to say thank you to Trevor and the band for being a big part of that. So thanks, Trevor. Thank but I will tell you that, you know, the guys did have a great week of practice last week. Uh, they were very excited to come out and, you know, we're getting better. And, and, and I tell you, we, we are doing a great job of making plays. The key is just being consistent on every drive and finishing those drives with points. I think the one thing that's, that's most encouraging is that the young men found a way to make plays. Because you, you'll see some of these touchdowns, it's not drawn up perfectly and it's not wide open guys. It's the quarterback doing a great job of extending the play and the receivers are doing a great job of finding a way, finding a way of getting open and then making a catch. So those are things that are very encouraging and we're, we're very excited that they can do that. But you know, he does have somebody in his face, he sees a little pressure gets out of the pocket, now he extends it again, and there's old Eric Kearns making a catch, and that's a tough catch because the guy's all over him, ends up getting a pass interference call here, and he still hangs on and concentrates. So just like that, in a matter of a couple minutes, we go from 14-3, down 14-3, to 17-14 being up, going before halftime, a little man free here, and that means it's one-on-one. -on -one. And guys, 
I know somebody tried to take my thunder earlier, but I'll tell you, <laughs> the only thing better than one on one, one on one. Amen. All right, there it is. There it is. Good throw, good catch. All right, play the horse. Let's get the horse playing. All right, let's talk about uh, Lock Haven. That's who we got this Saturday, but they are a good football team. I'm telling you that right now. Their, their record doesn't reflect how well they play. They are. They played some really good teams, all right? Passing wise, they are right up at the top of the conference offensively. We will be showing the away game starting this Saturday up here. Okay, so if you're home and you want to see uh, our Raiders, the Red Raiders uh, win, uh, please join us up here. Uh, the game starts at 12 o'clock this Saturday. Okay. Anybody got any questions? Again, I appreciate you guys coming out, and uh, uh, we'll see you next Thursday, all right? Thank you very much.